Before the opening bell, U.S. indices, they closed up on Thursday, lifted by utilities, banks, and real estate sectors. While on the economic docket, wholesale inventories, they fell about a half a percent on the month in February's preliminary read, GDP remaining at positive 2.1 percent in the fourth quarter, while initial jobless claims, they jumped to a record 3.28 million for the week ended March 21st. Continuing claims, they rose to 1.8 million for the week ended March 14th. This all as 95 percent of S&P 500 constituents they traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, the number of confirmed corona cases in the United States has surged past 85,000, overtaking China's 81,000 cases and Italy's 80,000 cases. GameStop surging after hours after saying that the COVID-19 outbreak has led to changes in how consumers work, play and learn, and over the past few weeks led to increased demand for the company's products. Lululemon Athletica, the designer of athletic accessories and apparel, did not provide guidance for fiscal 2020 due to the impact of the coronavirus crisis. Separately, the company posted fourth quarter EPS up to 2.28. That's just above estimates from $1.65 a year ago on net revenue up $1.4 billion. Now, in terms of expectations today, there's no earnings expected, but on the economic docket this Friday morning, we have personal income, personal spending, core PCE price index, as well as the March Michigan Consumer Sentiment final read. Now, taking a look at the markets, the S&P 500, that's where we begin. That's turning down, and that's also in focus. The relative strength index is bearish and calls for further downside. Short positions below 2,600 are favored, with targets at 2,480 and 2,445 in extension. The Nasdaq, that sees consolidation, while the Dow Jones... That's turning down.